You it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be talking about the season eight set that did get released in NBA 2K22. My team that does include the invincible Vince Carter. Now, before we dive into it, man, if you are new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we're on the road towards 100,000 subscribers. Now, near the end of the year last year, we did get season rewind sets, and I don't know if that's what they're going for, and, and maybe we'll get, you know, a few season eight players today, a few tomorrow. I don't know. This just seems really random because it's not just season rewind players because Michael Ray Richardson got a card too, and so I'm not really sure exactly what the premise of each and every one of these cards are, but we'll talk about them, go over them, and I think Invincible Vince Carter is going to be very solid in my team. If they made Shea right, maybe he will be a solid point guard as well, but I don't know. Season 8 set is really interesting. Now, we're going to start off with Michael Ray Richardson here, 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan, 50 all the famers, 24 on gold. Stat-wise is okay. It's nothing, you know, we haven't seen, though. 50 standing dunk is a little low. Jump shot 12. At this point, in my team is not ideal. I know it's on very quick with the normal leader. Quick dribble style. Mitch, D. Mitch's uh, size of KD says escape. Scotty move by the back. I'm not trying to sit here and say Michael Ray Richardson is bad, but for me, is he what you're really looking for? I don't know. I, I don't know if I can answer that question. I just I think there's better point guards in my team middleton up next six seven six ten weeks man hot spots from every 50 out of famous 24 on gold now middleton's probably going to be that little bit better for middleton though again stat wise it's not like anything crazy that we haven't seen it's just okay 56 on very quick is okay normal leader is okay quick, quick dribble style kobe says escape scotty moving by the back as well as the penny size up Again, it's not bad for Middleton. I mean, he's 6'7", six, 6'10", six, wingspan. So he's got something going for, you know, a shooting guard in my team. But if you compare that Middleton card, let's just go back, not even to these, because obviously those are invincibles, but let's go back to these, right? Let's compare Middleton to Dr. J. He's not going to be as good as Dr. J, not going to be as good as Dominic Wilkins, not going to be as good as Elgin. I mean, the list goes on and on. Not even going to be as good as, you know, this type of a Kobe Bryant. And so for me, that's the hard part is I like these, the fact that they're giving us these season eight players, but they're not really updating their SIGs, not really updating their animations. And stat wise, they're just okay. For Shea here, 6'6", six, 6'11", six, six, wingspan. Stat wise is again, okay. I wish the standing dunk would be higher, but outside of the standing dunk, Shea is really good in my team. Again, 50 out of famers, but jump shot 91 and very quick. That's not a good release in my team. Pro leaner. I mean, these cards are not good. So I'm going to be really intrigued to kind of see where 2K takes these cards. I mean, at least last year when we did look at the season, Rewind said again, it, it probably is going to be completely different this year. But at least last year when we did look at the season, Rewind, some of these cards were decent. You know, Ace Aiden was decent. I'm pretty sure, you know, back then, I, I don't know exactly who was okay and who wasn't, but... I'm guessing Harris is okay, Crowder was okay, you know, you look at another season rewind drop, in which we did see Middleton, Middleton was okay for that time, you got decent pink diamonds with Dorian Finney-Smith, and so I kind of like that what they did with it last year, I don't know what to think of this season 8 set, I, I really don't, and it doesn't look like any of these are original owner, I was thinking, you know, maybe you could grind for some of these cards, something like that, none of these are original owners, so I guess... I don't know, man. I guess I don't know. They're not grindable. They're not free, and they probably are going to be in packs, which I don't know. Convince Carter save the day. Let's hope so. Six, 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 nine weeks. Man, that's about to remember. Six, five, five, favors, 14 on gold. Again, an invincible card. He's going to have every stat, every badge in the game. Vince Carter base on very quick. A solid pro two leaner. Pro two leaner. What is that for this era? Quick dribble style, Francis. Size of Kobe's guys. Escape Scotty move by the back. If he had a better drifter, I would be high on the card, but a pro two drifter at this point of my team is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, these cards, I can't sit here and tell you guys they are horrible, but as far as a content drop, an actual content drop, 
I know it's a Wednesday and we normally don't get content on Wednesday, Wednesday but would y'all rather have in this, which you do get an invincible Vince, or would you guys rather have this free exchange in which you had a chance to get a free Dark Matter card that was pretty solid in my team? From my perspective, guys, I looking at these four cards, I mean, the cards are basically useless. Like, I like the fact that 2K is giving us free content. I do not want to take that away from 2k in general i love uh or not free content but I, I love the fact that 2k is giving us content nearly every day so far but the problem is none of these cards are really that good vince is pretty solid but none of these cards are really that good none of these cards are free and i think that's a bad combination if they're free and not good okay i can't really complain because they're free if you if they are in packs which i don't know i guess for sure but if they're in packs and not good makes things a little bit tougher for me. What I would have liked to see with this drop, okay, let's say you put Michael Ray Richardson in Triple Threat offline, you put Shea in Triple Threat online, and then Middleton on the clutch time wheel, and they're all original owner, and then let's say you can lock in for Vince Carter. Make their odds decent enough, right? But you lock in for Vince Carter in the exchange. That's what I personally would have liked to see. Now that is my opinion on things, and obviously 2K doesn't always agree. But Shea Middleton and Michael Ray Richardson, none of those cards are very good. And obviously Vince Carter is going to be the highlight of the set. But if he's not free, he's going to cost a lot of MT. So for me, I feel like 2K, if they're going to drop players like this, has to do a little bit more with the free content. Because if it was free for an Invincible Vince, I would probably be pretty excited about it. Because Vince, for no money spent squads, would be really solid. It's just for me right now, the excitement's not there. So hopefully in the coming weeks, guys, uh, maybe even tomorrow, we can get some of the free content again. Because outside of Vince Carter, there's nothing really here to look into. I mean, Vince as an invincible card is really solid in my team. There's no questioning that. But Shea has the same release. It's not great. Chris Middleton, he's okay, but there's nothing special. And Michael Ray Richardson as a point guard with the jump shot 12 Draymond Green release for July... I'm not trying to sound so negative, but I'm not really that impressed with what I'm seeing today as far as this content. Again, if it was free, I would be really excited about it. The problem is it is not free today in NBA 2K22 by team. But let me know your thoughts on these four cards down below in the comments. Is it something that you're excited about with the Invincible Vince Carter? You guys like, oh my gosh, this is the worst content drop ever. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to it as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.